And so we begin with the reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea River to bypass the land of Edom. But their patience wore out by the journey. The people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in the desert? where there is no food or water. We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people serve serpents, which bit the people, so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray that the Lord take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a serpent and mount it on a pole. And whoever wishes, looks at it, after being bitten, will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent, and mounted it on a pole, and whoever, and who, whenever anyone had been bitten by a serpent, looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And I think this is always, I think it's probably a very good, interesting thing for us, is because I think at times that we tend to complain against God, that we tend, if you will, to kind of not do what we're supposed to, to go against God, who is ultimately we know, of course in our head, I should say, we know that he is good and loving and kind, and it's not something for us to complain about, but sometimes we do. Sometimes we just get a little carried away, or we go against God, or we just kind of just are tired of what is going on in the world, in our lives, or whatever, and we kind of just say, God, why? Why is this happening? Why are you giving us this? Why are you doing that? And sometimes they're what God just wants us is to trust. Is to ultimately trust him to follow him, no matter what is going on in our own lives, no matter what's going on in the world, to trust. Because he is bringing about his will one way or another, is ultimately coming, no matter what. So it's up to us to kind of just say, okay, God, I trust you. And maybe that's something for us to repeat, especially now in the environment that we are currently living. It's ultimately trust in God that he has and he does have our best mind and intention at heart. Now the responsorial song. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call. Answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion, he appeared in his glory. When he has regarded the prayer of the destitute, and did not despise their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generations to come, and let his for future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he, he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sins. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Is he going to kill himself? Is he? Because he said, Where am I going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation, but the one who sent me is true. That I have heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am. 
that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many became to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And this this uh, gospel reading today, I think, is always a beautiful one, because in the end, I think it shows quite honestly the difference between what God is talking about and what he's talking about the world, if you will, that he's talking, as he literally says, that he's talking about what is above, not what is below. He's talking about going towards Christ, uh, going towards God, going towards heading in our own lives, in our own journey. And that is very much a good point for that. That lends at this time, if you will, for us to kind of start going towards Christ if we're not already. They kind of just refresh ourselves to go back to God because sometimes we kind of stray, don't we? Sometimes we just go off the wrong path and don't follow God, but ultimately follow our own desires, our own desires of the world. But it is up to us during this Lenten journey to focus upon God, to be with God in whatever way, shape, and form, from listening to this reading, saying the rosary, so on and so forth, to listen, going to live stream masses and various things like that. That this is a journey of Lent. That to go with the suffering, everything that's going on in your life, to suffer with Christ because He's always there. And He's always there for us. But it's up to us to put that trust, that love, that patience, that endurance in our Lord, our Savior. Because in the end, He is the one we should be suffering for. And I think something for all those who might be suffering is ultimately to offer that suffering up, to do something different, to go towards Christ. To offer that suffering up for someone else instead of just suffering for suffering's sake. Because that tends to happen if we just kind of just, for the fun of it, suffer. Uh, most of us won't ever like to do that. So it's up to us.